The church in Quebec has often not been in tune with the melody of Christ, as John Dixon puts it in his book Bullies and Saints, which I recommend highly. Congregations who want to flourish in a secular society need to adopt a servant posture, one where we seek to emulate the character of Christ in loving our neighbors and loving even those who per we perceive as hostile to our faith. Too often, churches worry too much about the well-being of the church as an institution and not enough about the well-being of the people that surround us. I recall one evening I was in a chamber of commerce meeting with the mayor and other leaders in our city. And they were discussing things such as a problem we have with one of our rivers that was becoming more and more polluted. And then they were talking about the, the high rate of high school dropouts in our region and what to do about it. They were working hard to try to find solutions for the well-being of the people in our city. And I remember thinking to myself, wow, my biggest problem right now as a pastor is that I don't have a drummer for Sunday. So churches who want to flourish need to stop worrying so much about their problems and start worrying more about how they could actively seek to help and resolve some of the problems and issues people face in their city. The love of Christ is always so much more compelling to people outside of the church when they see it materialized in real life and in all of life. After having planted our first church in Sherbrooke, uh, God led us to plant our second church in Magog. And the first uh, thing God led us to do was to meet with the mayor and ask how we could help and serve our city. She responded that the city needed a green brig brigade to help sort the trash and recycling during the various festivals. And so even before having our first official church service, we had a team of faithful servants sorting trash and recycling for the glory of God. That was the first of several occasions we had to come alongside of our city uh, to serve. Another of my favorite initiatives is Moving Day. One strange thing about Quebec is that we are one of the only places in the world where practically everyone that moves from one house or apartment to another actually all move around the same day, June 30th and July 1st. One of the challenges with that is that many people, especially the lonely, the poor, the marginalized, struggle in finding the financial uh, and human resources to help them move. Even the social workers that come alongside of them, they often struggle to find help. But now they can turn to the church. For several years, we've been helping anywhere between 20 to 30 people and families uh, to move on moving day. Not only that, but many local businesses help us out and provide trucks and provide food and refreshments. More than 150 uh, volunteers teamed up in our latest edition. The mayor was present with some of the city employees. There were some real estate agents and people from several businesses all lending hands to help the least fortunate. It was a real day of celebration, which started with a word of encouragement and with a word of prayer. And no one was com complaining that our faith in Christ had no place outside of private life and no place in our secular society. Everyone was witnessing the transformative power of the love of Jesus. And so I leave you with these two questions. Do you know what the real needs and challenges are in the neighborhood and city where you live? And how could the gospel and the church flourish in an environment that is hostile to Christianity? Thank you.